Hey guys, welcome back to Undertale episode 3. Last episode we fought Papyrus and now we're best friends with him. Uh, this ep Why am I going all the way this way? I can just go into the hole. Um, this episode, we're going to go on a date with Papyrus. Because that was how the battle ended, was me getting asked out on a date. Hello, Papyrus! Ugh. <coughs> oh, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Ugh. All right. <coughs> so you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this! I'll have to take you someplace really special! A place I like to spend a lot of time! Ooh, where are we going? <laughs> My house! Alright, cool. What's this? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. What's this? Our oh, kitchen. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like... A quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. So he made a pie? Question mark? Was that because of Toriel? Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers and labeled to spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Guesses! Wow. Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! What's this thing? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it down! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. It's a saggy old couch. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's okay, Papyrus. I believe you. It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Absolutely I will. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. <clears throat> you look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Probably smart. Oh, I got sleep in my eyes. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy, take your time. That's the bone painting. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Okay. And Papyrus' room. That's my room. If you're finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Absolutely. I'm gonna bang Papyrus. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Okay. Oh, he's got a race car bed. 
that's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. I feel like I have a different voice for Papyrus every episode. Ah, uh, yes, action figures. A great reference for the uh, for the for, for the blah, 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 blah. a great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Well, you guys have Santa down here. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. <coughs> I think humans must have descended from skeletons! <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. peek a -boo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame is a steep price. A jealous troll is besieged by online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Wonder who it could be. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Okay. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me, sometimes. Look in the closet? Absolutely. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Awesome. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Sure. Okay! Dating start! Here we are! On our date! <coughs> oh my god. Bread stuck in my throat. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! I stagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time! Let's see. Step one. Press your controller's triangle button for dating HUD. Whoa, look at that. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. R really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. <laughs> me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. <laughs> Now, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! Get shit on, Papyrus. I'm way better at dating. However, 
you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said was invalid. This state won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any old plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Holy moly. Human! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do! Everything you say! It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, why that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't, if, I, I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Can I stop doing the voice now? <clears throat> Holy moly. Can I go into Sans room now? No. <clears throat> Jeez Louise, dude. I wish, like, Napster could have this much uh, dialogue. His voice is so much easier to do. Or Sans. Ugh. Oh, okay. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> Okay. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. 
What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs mean twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure, bro. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Alright, let's go, bro. <clears throat> Over here. I know a shortcut. For shortcut, huh? Hey. Uh, hey, everyone. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Yeah, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whippy cushions on the seats. Anyways, let's order. What do you want? I'm gonna get some burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think? Of my brother? Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Hey, that counts. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes, please. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Yeah, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was, at mid because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. <coughs> It's, uh, still a work in progress. Hmm. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? I have. He's talking about flowey. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Oh, that's what he meant. Never mind. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. All right, cool. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000... Wait, yeah, it's just 10,000 G. Sure. Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay, well... <clears throat> I gotta go all the way back now. Come on, man. Could have at least taken me with you. Do -do 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 -do. Cool. Well, now we gotta go into the spooky marsh. It's not really that spooky, actually. It's like, it's pretty chill. I'm gonna save again. Oh, didn't I have, like, a thing that I could put on? Like, an item? Yeah, mainly bad data. Uh, use. Oh, actually, do I want something that heals, or do I want something that... that gives me defense? Hmm... Wait, where'd the, where'd the manly bad data go? Aw, oh, man. 
Maybe it permanently increases it. I swear I saw something behind that rushing water. Ooh. Oh, there's a camera behind the waterfall. Okay. What am I meant to do about it? Oh. Ooh. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, it's Papyrus. <coughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you out earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, she showed me. Ooh, that's freaky. Man, Undyne's so cool. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? Haha! <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <clears throat> oh yeah, she doesn't, he doesn't have arms, does he? Or they, I don't know. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. <clears throat> When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. Aaron! I have a friend named Aaron. Uh, check. This Seos has a lot of HP. Horsepower. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Check all you want. Arid is sweating bullets. Literally. Uh, flex. You flex. Iron flex is twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Arid is ready for your next flex. You flex harder. Wait, why am I still talking like Aaron? You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Nice. I won't lose though. Wink. Oh, no, I'm trying to get like Jimbo voice. Like, oh, yeah, bro. Oh. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. All right, cool. Uh, how am I supposed to read that sign? Oh, I guess if I use the thing. Um. If I go one, two, three, four. Whoa, my reel is a thousand plays. Let's go. It's the first reel I've posted. Oh, what's this say? If an error is made, the bell blossom can bring can call bridge seeds back to where they started. 
Bring! Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours! <laughs> so, what are you wearing? <laughs> Papyrus, you flirty boy! You skeleflirt! I'm asking for a friend. Ah, uh, sure you are, buddy. Uh, she thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? Uh, no, I'm wearing a bandage. So you aren't wearing a bandana. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Click. I'm not wearing a bandana, am I? I'm wearing the bandage. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wishes would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones in the ceiling. Hey, they're still cool. Wishing room. <coughs> Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Washua! This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Out! Don't spot! Ah! Washua is rinsing out for pizza. Uh, clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean! Ah! Ah! Yay! Come on, sis! Make a wish! I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. You will, guys, don't worry. Uh, yes. Check wall, alright. Ah, uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Is that a horoscope joke that I don't get? What's this? Oh. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Wow. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, that is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. <clears throat> if a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Is it flowy? <gasps> oh, you know, I probably shouldn't spoil for the people who haven't played Undertale. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Oh, my God, I'm so bad. Yeah, I'm not getting hit again. I'm not getting hit again. It's not happening. Get dodged. Get dodged. Get dodged. Oh, it's still going. She can't find me. She can't find me. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just... touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky. 
If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see you again. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak! Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical cr crystal, it fills you with determination. Oh. Pardon? It sands. It's an odd looking telescope. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. I was about it. This is definitely a trick, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hey, you can't even see anything. What a scam. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've got pink eye. Oh, you aren't satisfied. Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. You cheeky bugger. What's in here? Oh, hello. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you could trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get customers to come back. That's not a bad idea, actually. The ice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Sure, dude. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. The box contains one card. Take the card? Yes. Cool. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Wow. Disrespecting history, dude. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Whoa, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not a star, I'm not a star. <laughs> I swear. <clears throat> Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Feels like it. So I'm gonna go back this way. Or maybe, do I have to go back more this way? Okay. Really glad I came back for that. You hear a passing conversation. So, did you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Oh. Hey, Mold Small! That was easy. What's in here? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? I will. What do they do? Ah, oh, it's a weapon. Not helpful to fall on me. Bling. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a bandana. So, of course, I actually told her you were indeed wearing a bandana. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a bandana, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowee, this is hard. I just want to be everyone's- I just want to be everybody's friend. Click. Yeah, man, I feel you. I feel you with that one, Papyrus. It's so annoying when you have two friends and they're fighting with each other and you have to, like, try not to pick sides. Oh, Washua and Aaron. I'll deal with Washua first. Green means clean. Come on in. The water's fine. 
<laughs> now we just gotta flex with Aaron a bunch. There we go. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. <laughs> the power to take their souls. This is the power that a human that the human feared. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion Son. Onion Son, you here? Okay. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full. Uh, anyways, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undead's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Oh my god, fuck off! Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. Yeah, waterfall! Okay. Oh. Shiren. <laughs> Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Let me, uh, check. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Hum hum. Okay, what if I hum with her? You hum a funky tune. Sharon follows your melody. Siren, siren. Oh, 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 oh. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Yay! There you go, Sharon. The northern room hides a great treasure. Does it really? There's a piano here. Play it. that work? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Okay. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Please take one. I will take an umbrella, thank you. to give the umbrella to this guy because he's getting rained on. Do, 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 do. 
I don't really know how to play that, but okay. Let me give it a try. Nah, I don't know. I'm not musically minded. <sighs> Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either. If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Let's go. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> Can you not see that I'm a human? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king... We had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to the school? She could beat up all the teachers. Yeah, man, that'd be pretty cool. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. <clears throat> Whoa, look how cool this background is. Mm. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see on dine, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Ew, you going ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. All right, man. Good luck. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Oh shit, how long have I been recording? 44 minutes! Oh my lord! In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. And not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Ooh. It's dark. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. Whoa. 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 Okay, this is a lot easier than what was happening before. Fuck! Get dodged. Get dodged. Get weaved. Get weaved. Oh, can't go that way. Can't go that way. Oh, fuck. Oi. Hey. 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 Stop. Oh my god. No. 
Oh, it's still going. Shit, I'm trapped. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Nate, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Oh. No, oh, no, we're in the junk pile. The water pool here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Fearing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Alright guys, we've fallen down, we're in the junk pile, we're in the... What do you call them? The... We're at the tip. I think I'm gonna leave this episode here and we'll come back, we'll escape the tip in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Follow my socials, they're in the, in the description. I appreciate it a lot. I've started posting reels and things on my TikTok and my uh, Instagram and on YouTube shorts. So please go have a look at those. Uh, oh, enjoy that burp. And I hope you all have a good day. See ya.